Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. This is a palette I'm gonna be using today. It is quite a stunner. So this is going to help me give a soft cut crease look. And if you'd like to see how I did this soft cut crease look using the Tarte palette, throw kindness around like confetti, stay tuned. Hello, let's get started. I'm going to be attempting a cut crease and I'm going to be using these lovely colors. Um, Tarte always has beautiful colors. They mix well, they blend well, and they normally smell amazing. So these are the, the colors I'm going to choose from. I have no clue which ones I'm gonna use yet, but what I will say is my face has been prepped, my eyebrows that are the frame of your face have been done, and um, I'm ready to get started. Decisions, decisions. Starting with a Morphe 441 brush. I'm gonna take Weekend. And place that right. Using windshield wiper motions to blend, blend. And blend. The base that I'm using is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and that's actually what we are going to use when we go in to do the cut crease or the attempt at the cut crease. How about that? Let's not raise your hopes too high. I really like the color Dream Team. which is this, it's almost got a shimmer on it and it is in the orange tones. And I'm just gonna go right above and mix that in with Weekend. Who doesn't like a Dream Team on a weekend? And I'm mixing the Dream Team and the Weekend for the little edge right here. And these colors are pigmented so you better be prepared for a blending brush I'm just gonna grab a blending brush and we're gonna mix those two in and swirl them around to give a nice blended effect and these um, Morphe fluffy brushes are pretty awesome actually I've um, recently come across them and I love these big fat blending brushes. And this one's a 501. Then I'm going to take a spot of Simple Life, which is a kind of a pinky white. It's got a light pink shade. And I'm gonna take that right here underneath the brow bone. And because that Simple Life got I did drag it down on the Dream Team. So I just want to blend those two coming together so it's not like it looks like Dream Team, or excuse me, Simple Life just fell on the Dream Team. Um, so that just kind of softens it. Here is where the drum rolls and the crowd goes wild. We're going to attempt the cut crease. Let's hope for epic non-failure. <laughs> I'm going to take a flat brush. This is just flat and round. And um, doing a cut crease is going to be interesting. I'm going to go back to the painterly paint pot. And I'm going to put some of that painterly paint pot on my brush. I may need a mirror closer. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it out. Not cut out my bad jokes. I'm gonna cut out the eye. You know what I mean. Okay, so I'm just gonna go trace that along where I want it to have a nice edge. You may have to add additional product 
the great piece if you you're not used to doing cut creases like myself and you want to try them um, if you've noticed I haven't started with a harsh color so it's like putting a toe in to trying a new makeup technique so we're just gonna cut that out so it's like excuse me it's like trying a new makeup technique without the fear of utter failure dun, dun, dun. so once you get that kind of cut out the way that you want to we're gonna travel to the other side and hope that we get it semi-equal I feel like this is almost like when you do the eyebrows and they should be sisters, not twins. So we're gonna work on this sister, how about that? And I just keep kind of going back and forth to make sure that the area that I'm cutting out is semi-equal. And I will say cutting out with, I've tried to do it with, um, dry sh uh, dry shampoo dry eyeshadows and I just haven't been as lucky so trying it with the paint pot is really nice unless you get up a little high like I just did so I'm taking what was on my previous brush and just kind of filling that over the top of my little whoopsie I just did so as you can see, it gives a little bit of a defined cut crease, so to speak. Um, then what I will do next, so I've wiped the Painterly Paint Pot off that same brush, and this is, I believe, yeah, it's just a wet and wild. I am going to go back on that Simple Life and I'm gonna go right along and cover everywhere I just put painterly paint pot. Okay, when we think we have that even, we're ready for eyeliner. The Makeup Geek Full Spectrum in Espresso. And I'm going to take a flat brush and just kind of smooth or buff that out. And I think this brush, this flat brush is also from Morphe. So I've been trying my these Morphe brushes. I'm one of my favorite bent brushes, angled brushes. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Cream in Espresso. So it's a nice chocolatey brown, kind of matches the Makeup Geek. I've got my eyeliner set. I'm going to go in with Wow and put that right there. I'm going to wow that outer corner. I'm just using little circular motions. I'm going to go back in with the Morphe fluffy brush. And just kind of soften that out using little windshield wiper motions. Time to pop on those false eyelashes. Eyelashes popped up. Now we're going to use 
the Maybelline Lash Sensational Duo because having the duo is Lash Sensational. Is that not corny? Okay, so we're going to use our waterproof on the bottom. And we're just using the regular black on top. And that concludes today's look on how to do an easy cut crease using the Throw Kind of Surround Like Confetti palette. I want to thank everyone who took the time to watch my video today and hopefully learn something new. I appreciate everyone who takes their time out of their day to watch my silliness and my hopeful, helpful hints. I do know that there are so many wonderful artists out there and your time is precious and valuable. So the fact that you sent, you spent that watching one of my tutorials, I absolutely appreciate and love and value your time. If you get an opportunity, please subscribe. If you feel like you have a friend or a family member who might enjoy my tutorials and or how to's, please feel free to pass along my information. If you do like any of my videos, do give them a thumbs up. Again, I thank you so much for your valuable time. Please make it a beautiful day.